what's up guys we're doing another review this time it's not an e-bike it's actually an e-scooter this one's by a company called high boy this is the s2r plus electric scooter let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside <laughs> So this is what it looks like inside the box. We got some foam in there. Looks like we're not gonna have to do too much assembling. So it looks like we're gonna have to do a little bit of assembling, nothing too crazy. Check out the small charger it comes with, super tiny. Here's an overall shot of the scooter. Check it out. What are we saying? Typical commuter style scooter. Here's the dash. Let's see if we have any power. Yes, we do. You do have a thumb throttle on the right hand side. Comes with a bell and one brake. This is gonna control the rear brake. It is gonna be mechanical disc. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this bad boy on the charger, give it a full charge. Then we're gonna hop on it, do a first ride. Make sure you watch the video to the end. I'm gonna let you guys know if it's worth the money or if it's hot trash. What's up guys, first ride on the e-scooter. Technically not the first ride. I actually ended up taking this e-scooter to San Diego the other day to an RV park. Had a little fun with it. What's well, a brand new day with it and you guys get to see a little bit more of this e-scooter. Check it out, your boy is fully crouched on this thing. Oh yeah, currently going 18 miles per hour. I think this thing only maxes out at 19. I'm riding in sport mode. That's the only mode you should be riding this thing in because other than that, it's freaking slow as hell. Okay, I'm gonna try to make this as entertaining as possible, uh, but sadly, uh, this is the fastest this scooter is gonna go. Currently on my way to 7-Eleven and uh, your boy is gonna start the day off with a monster, get some energy going. Got some other videos I wanna record today, so we're gonna start this one off with a little scooter ride. Down in San Diego last weekend, Pretty much every family had a couple of these e-scooters. So if you're somebody that goes to like the beach a lot or if you have an RV, one of these scooters will be perfect for that. Just in general, I think having one of these in your freaking car at all times is super convenient. Me personally, I live in an apartment complex and it's hard to find parking spots. So I have to put this in the back of the car and pretty much park far and I just ride it back to my freaking house and it's perfectly fine. So something to consider. Right, guys back on the e-scooter we're gonna do a quick ride around the city on this thing nothing too crazy these aren't meant to be going long distances currently cruising at a speed of 19 miles per hour it feels pretty decent it's nothing too fast it doesn't feel unsafe I'm not gonna be doing a official top speed run I don't feel like it's necessary with this thing if you're buying this hopefully you're not looking for something that's fast <laughs> this is going to be something to just get you around all right Ooh, around the turn nice let's go wide a little bit let's tuck a little bit see if we can pick up some speed oh we're going 20 miles per hour let's go all right let's test out these brakes see if we have any stopping power okay pretty good oh shoot here we go downhill no suspension hopefully it doesn't collapse oh yes now we're going uphill let's see how it does currently going 
15 miles per hour. Oh, are we slowing down? Somebody's calling me. You have to wait, I'm sorry. 10 miles per hour, nine. Uh-oh, I don't know if this scooter's gonna make it. Eight miles per hour up the hill, six miles per hour. Now, normally I would not do this to any e-bike, but we're gonna put this e-scooter to the test. Six miles per hour. I haven't helped it one bit. Oh my God, it made it up the freaking hill, guys, barely. If you do live near some hills, you probably should look for something that's a little bit stronger or maybe even a dual motor e-scooter. Cause you gotta think, you don't have pedals, so if the motor can't make it up the hill, you're gonna be kicking this thing. You're gonna be looking stupid as hell. Currently going downhill. I'm fully pressing down the throttle and we're only maxing out at 19. Let me let go of the throttle, see if we can go any faster. Let's tuck a little bit going 18 this thing is freaking slow as hell oh my goodness all right guys so this is the high boy s2r plus electric scooter the price is only 4.99 it's originally 569.99 the company claims that the scooter maxes out at 19 miles per hour you can get up to 22 miles of range it has a 350 watt motor it takes three to five hours to charge the battery it is removable speaking of battery it's a 36 volt 8.7 amp hour they're claiming that the max load is 220 pounds I'm barely hitting that. Your boy has gained some weight. I need to hit the gym. The scooter weighs 31 pounds. Comes with the e-brake and a disc brake. Comes with a headlight and a rear light. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, pretty much every family in America owns one of these. And if you don't, you need to get on board. This is definitely one to consider. It's super cheap, but they're all cheap. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description down below if you guys want to check it out. That's going to do it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until the next one, We'll see you guys. Deuces are like that. Yay!